Hi, how are you doing? Ciao! I'm doing very well, thanks. Can you tell me your name and where you're from? I am Laura. Uh, I'm from a little island called Sardinia, belonging to Italy. And I'm in Malaysia at the moment. Okay, great to know that you are in Malaysia right now. May I know why you're in Malaysia right now? <laughs> uh, it's, uh, I'm at the same time traveling and working, and I've never seen Malaysia before. So I wanted to give this country an opportunity to, to surprise me. Uh, I also have a creative project going on, so I want to tell stories from this place. If you don't mind, can you share more about your project? Sure. Um, I'm really into making podcasts at the moment. Uh, so my idea is to um, tell stories through audios. Uh, I really like the, this concept of uh, just recording sound stories so that listeners can, uh, can hear them while they, they go on with their lives. And um, audio stories also gives you the, the, the opportunity to um, use your creativity and imagine what, what I'm describing, what I'm telling you, uh, with the power of sounds, right? Uh, so my idea is to um, meet people, interview them, and uh, share their, their something interesting related to their lives. Uh, overall, my goal is to uh, collect uh, a few positive stories um, to share with, with my friends or people I know and to let them know uh, that the world is a beautiful place, uh, that traveling is, is great, you get to meet so many interesting people and uh, hopefully uh, this will give um, the opportunity to others to um, feel some positive energy and uh, uh, help them focus on the beauty of little things, of those little things I, I will want to share. Wow, that's so great. Um, do you have like a website or YouTube channel for this? And uh, how long does it already been, uh, been there? The uh, so uh, yeah, I have a website first of all, and uh, it's just my uh, first name and surname dot com. So it's Laura Malvaso dot com, and this is um, where I publish all my material. It's not a YouTube channel or um, another kind of platform because. I tend to um, use a lot of different creative arts. Sometimes I make videos, sometimes podcasts, sometimes drawing. So uh, I collect everything in the platform of my website. And I've been I've been doing this for uh, for many years. I think since when I started traveling. Somehow travel really uh, triggers my my creative energy. Uh, so every time I'm on the road, I, I I feel a call to produce something artistic related to to the trip. And uh, I'm currently here in uh, in Malacca since uh, since two weeks. So uh, yeah, working on my creative project, my current one uh, since two weeks. So why do you choose Malacca? Ah. Uh, this is an interesting story. Um, I wanted to come to Malaysia because I've, um, I've never been here before. And uh, I heard about Melaka uh, while reading a book, uh, a book of my favorite writer. He's a former Italian journalist called Tiziano Terzani. And uh, he, um, he wrote a book um, describing uh, a whole year uh, that he spent traveling through uh, mainly Southeast Asia just by land or by sea, not taking any flight. Because at that time a fortune teller had uh, uh, warned him not to fly, um, otherwise he would have died. Um, so he spends a whole year traveling by land and, uh, he, and uh, talking to um, as many fortune tellers as possible uh, during his journey to understand um, if it is true what they say, if they have a special ability that we have lost in the Western world, uh, or if they are just random guessing, whatever. He wants to discover um, deeply his topic and also at the same time he wants to experience uh, how it is traveling without taking any flight. And in this beautiful book, uh, he passed through uh, Melaka 
and he describes it as the most haunted city in the world, um, telling the readers that uh, so many different populations can, came through here. Even before the colonization, the European colonizers, uh, this was um, a, a very strategic uh, place and traders, worldwide traders were uh, were, uh, were, were coming here to sell their goods or to buy new ones and uh, um, because of this so many populations got in contact mixed and uh, they left so many stories behind and uh, some of them are uh, kind of ghost stories as if every population left his uh, <coughs> its ghost in the city so this is the first time uh, while reading this book this is the, the first thing I, I, I heard about Melaka, and it just left me curious. Um, I'm always attracted by unusual places, uh, unusual places that have some unusual uh, stories to tell. And this is this was the first time I started thinking, wow, I might go to this city actually. I could spend a month there and see um, if the city has some stories to tell to me too. And that's why I'm here. Okay, great. Uh, now I'd like to know what is your purpose of life, if you can share. <laughs> sure. Um, very challenging question. Um, I, I've asked myself so many times uh, this one, this question, and um, it's always very hard to to tell if we have um, an objective purpose um, like if life itself has an objective meaning I don't know about this but I think it is, it is very important to find a subjective answer so to find a, a personal purpose a reason why we are here and um, I try to um, to pursue happiness or uh, rather than happiness uh, which because sometimes happiness is just an instant but I, I try to chase peace and then serenity and I do this I do this while um, like the, the main tool I use to achieve this is uh, living a, a simple life trying to be appreciative and grateful of, uh, of simple things that happen around me. I, I believe that the simplest things are the ones that give us um, the biggest amount of happiness. Uh, for example, uh, a sunset. It's such a, such a simple moment uh, happening every day, every day in front of our eyes, but um, when uh, Personally, when I get the opportunity to uh, to slow down time and uh, and sit on the beach, maybe to watch the sunset, um, I feel so much happiness inside. So I try to to, to fill my life with these little moments. And uh, I uh, my 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 personal vision of life is that we are a part of the universe and we are connected with it but um, we we cannot uh, see this every day because in, we, we are so busy in our daily routine um, so that we uh, rarely go uh, behind um, the perception of our human body um, but I, 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 I do believe we are a part of the everything we are connected with others we are a part of nature and uh, sometimes i have experienced this connection with the everything and it's the um, the most um, it's the most beautiful thing i've ever felt so i would say that the purpose of my life is to to pursue this connection to try to feel it um, as much as possible and um, I believe living fully in the present um, helps me uh, achieving that so so yes I'm tr looking for this connection with the everything and try to focus on the present moment to do that to get that
Alright, lastly, uh, is there anything in Italian that you can share with us and the meaning in English? Okay, um, let me think about it. Uh, Ciao Malesia, sono molto felice di eh, fare questa intervista e di raccontare, di, 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 di cercare di ehm, raccontare il vostro paese attraverso il mio punto di vista. Ok, I just, I just said hi Malesia, uh, I'm really happy to, to be here, to be in this country, explore it and try to tell stories from here, from my point of view. Ok, thank you very much uh, and hopefully to see you in uh, the future. Thank Abs you. Uh, thanks to you. Ciao.